Co-op games are awesome. With a buddy by your side, you suddenly get a designated healer, or another target for your enemies to shoot at, or even a much needed companion in an otherwise lonely, evil robot-led testing laboratory. It's a win-win, no matter the situation. There may even be cake. So if you're looking for an adventure for you and your gaming pals to embark on next, keep watching to discover our favourite co-op games that you need to play. And while you're here, why not give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so we can continue to make Finley Veld portal references in our intros. Step into one of gaming's most vibrant worlds and marvel at the colossal monsters in front of you in Monster Hunter World. As part of the Fifth Fleet, your job is to embark on an exciting research expedition. And by research expedition, we mean barge our way into foreign lands and kill a variety of monsters. It's an interesting approach. But while Monster Hunter's setup may be a little strange, it's built upon some incredibly strong mechanics. Each monster behaves differently, with unique attacks, tells, strengths, and weaknesses, so you'll have to try out different combat styles to find what works best against them. Plus, with a variety of distinct weapons available, you'll be able to specialise in a playstyle that suits you. Oh yeah, and you get to do all of this with friends, which allows you to coordinate around your strengths and differing weapons. For example, one of you can be an expert with a hunting horn and use it to buff your teammates, while another can get to work with an ultra-precise bow, covering the squad from long range. So instead of going at it alone, why not take down those titans together as a co-op team? It's peak squad goals. What could be better? Next up is Valve's ageless co-op masterpiece. At first glance, Portal 2 appears to be a game about a couple of robot chums trying to make their way through a series of abandoned laboratories, but look further and you'll find a series of increasingly challenging locker room puzzles centered around physics, gravity, and momentum. But that's not the bottom of the, uh, portal hole. Beyond the puzzles lies a comedic yet sinister story in which your actions are being manipulated by the evil AI GLaDOS. Level by level, she'll attempt to cause a rift between your co-op duo, praising one while embarrassing the other as you maneuver your way through the test chambers. To overcome GLaDOS, you'll need a secret weapon, patience. The game requires you and your partner to work simultaneously, testing different methods and ultimately trusting each other not to remove a portal that's keeping you alive. The only solution to such a puzzle is to grab a buddy, bust out some synchronized gestures to show your friendship is unbreakable, and don't stop solving conundrums until each and every one of your nuts, bolts, and circuits is free. Think of Destiny 2 as the online equivalent to the Moss Eisley Cantina. There's music and laughter and old mystic masters. Also, you get to shoot lots of aliens, and you won't have to do it from under the table either. And also like in Star Wars, exploring the galaxy is far more fun with friends. Whether that's speeding around the different planets on a sparrow hoverbike, spelunking into a cave in search of powerful loot, or achieving victory over a mighty nightfall boss, the spoils taste twice as sweet when there's a fire team by your side. 2018's Chunky Forsaken expansion brought with it new challenges and modes to keep your squad busy. From fresh daily missions to the thrilling Gambit PvPvE mode, with server resets every Tuesday offering never-ending loot and challenges, Destiny 2 is the ideal weekly virtual meetup with the gang. Overcooked is undoubtedly one of the most stressful yet joyful games we've ever played. The aim of the game is to prepare food for hungry customers under strictly timed conditions. This is deceptively difficult, especially when your tiny kitchen is crowded by four panicked players. As time has ticked down, you'll need to coordinate on veg chopping, burger frying, soup stirring and dishwashing. Each subsequent level introduces a more varied menu of increasingly complex dishes, ramping up the challenge with each new order. However, it's the incredibly designed levels that really shake things up. Sometimes your restaurant will be broken in two by an earthquake, meaning you'll have to not only cooperate in separate halves, but time your actions so you can pass ingredients to the right side of the kitchen when the opportunity arises. It's this chaos that creates some of Overcooked's best moments, resulting in copious amounts of yelling as food burns and the kitchen turns to anarchy around you. Nothing brings people together like fighting off hordes of the undead. That's why it's practically law that you and all your pals have Left 4 Dead 2 installed on your PC. It's legion of unholy creatures running towards you will forge and temper friendships for life. Grouping up and assessing the threats at every turn of the campaign's sprawling maps will keep you on your toes, but it's the moments where you're ambushed by the gross special infected that you'll be grateful that your friends are by your side. The smoker's rope light tongue will reel you into certain death, while the jockey will wrestle control away from you, leaving it up to your allies to save you. So, equip a headset and prepare for a frantic pace that'll leave you planning and then replanning your movements with every new shrieking zombie horde. Just don't get left behind. 
Borderlands 2 is an anarchic, loot-obsessed adventure with some seriously good shooting mechanics. The harsh truth is that, when played alone, its grinding and fetch quests can be a little boring, but call in a friend or two, or three, and suddenly Borderlands transforms into one of the best games on the planet, and here's why. Taking down swarms of mobs feels heroic, especially when armed with one of the gazillion wacky RNG weapons that the game throws at you with undying frequency. Plus, with a co-op team, you can assign MMO-style roles to each player for a tactical advantage in fights. Of course, when the dust is settled, you'll have to dive on the loot pile, so try and pick friends who aren't going to steal all the good stuff. You people know who you are. Diablo 3 is a gripping RPG adventure that excels when played as a team. Grouping up allows you to complement each other's classes, such as combining the glass cannon wizard with a hardier barbarian brawler. It also allows you to be braver with your build. Playing solo as a wizard requires you to think about shields and defense, but with a close quarters friend acting as a tank, you can focus on all out firepower. But it's really the adventure mode that does the most for co-op play allowing you to undertake missions anywhere in the world of Sanctuary without being tied to a plot. This means you can continue to play even without your buddy around, and you won't have to wait for them to catch up or replay areas when the next online. And with the seasonal structure constantly offering new rewards and challenges, there's always something to work towards, no matter if you're logging on solo or as part of a group. Don't get us wrong, Far Cry 5 is a lot of fun to play for alone, but it's the opportunities for co-op shenanigans that really bring the game to life. The open world Montana is an anecdote factory, providing hilarious moments that you'll be recounting years down the line. The whole story is co-op, so simply grab your player 2 and dive in. With a second set of shoulders to help carry the fate of Hope County upon, what could possibly go wrong? Well, quite a lot actually. Whether you're attempting breakneck stunt driving or eliminating key members of the Eden's Gate cult, it's destined to end in chaos. Don't fancy playing the main story? No problem, you're free to roam around the county as you please. Go hiking or fishing, explore the different regions, steal a monster truck with guns mounted on it, or simply go around blowing anything and everything up. Your Far Cry adventure is anything you and your friends want it to be. The final game on this list is one of the best RPGs on PC, and lucky you, you get to experience its grand story in co-op. Divinity Original Sin 2 throws you headfirst into a well of complex magical mechanics, but hang in there and you'll soon be rewarded with one of the most tactical and comprehensively interactive RPGs to date. The story centers around a competitive journey to Godhood, which just so happens to occur against the backdrop of the impending end of everything. You and your friends will be trying to avert this, but also outwit each other in the race to ascension. Either take control of a pre-made character with their own goals and backstory, or alternatively create a fresh adventurer upon which you can project your own desires. Then go forth and explore the trap-filled dungeons, ethereal realms and crumbling cities. You'll soon discover that there's a unique logic at play in everything you do, as the game reacts to your every move like a tabletop RPG's game master. Creativity is key to success with Divinity's turn-based combat system, so it is vital that you experiment with the different elements wielded by your team of co-op heroes. Defeating overwhelming enemies may just be a magical cocktail away. So there ends our selection of the best co-op games you can play right now. Of course, we won't pretend that these are the only 9 games you should play over PAL. Honourable mentions go out to Dying Light for its brutal take on surviving the zombie apocalypse, Orcs Must Die 2 for introducing some much needed madness to tower defence games, and Warhammer Vermintide 2 for showing us that Left 4 Dead's formula can be just as brilliant when you're butchering giant rats instead of rotting corpses. And now you know the best co-op games on PC. The only thing you need is a buddy to play them with. Don't have one? Aw, oh, well that's okay. We can be your friend. And seeing as we're pals now, could you do us a solid and like the video? Subscribe to the channel and ding the bell for more videos? See? Isn't Cobb great? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.